You've got to tune to listener-powered KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online around the world at KEXP.org. Super excited to have Broken Bells live in the KEXP studios. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Take it away.
and all nights That's all we hoped it was For breaking the warfare in your house But to each his own If this soldier is bailing out He curled his lips on a barrel And I don't know if the dead can talk Yeah. 
One, two, three, four. Broken Bells live here in the KEXP studios. That sounded phenomenal. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you. We are such big fans of the band and the new record, and it is so fun to hear performing some of those live and was very fascinating to watch you working as a band to interpret some of those in an acoustic setting. Yeah, it was kind of fun, too. It's kind of scary, but it was kind of fun. I felt like I was holding my breath during some of those. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, you mentioned <laughs> Me it is scary. It's it, it, uh, Brian, I can totally see that you've got your producer hat on at all times in this band. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> and uh, super serious, but you can tell you guys are having a ton of fun. And I know the story's been told so many times about how you met and became friends and decided that you wanted to do this project together. And I was always curious, obviously you're fans of each other's music and projects, but was it the friendship and just the desire to do something fun together that kind of That's spurred it? That's certainly part of it. I mean, you know. Especially, yeah after the first record yeah right exactly like after we got to know each other but I mean I remember you know when I was done with the touring cycle for the last Shins thing you know I was just really looking forward to getting back in the studio and and working with Brian it's just fun you know You've both got such crazy creative minds and just watching you work on these songs together today here in the studio, I can tell that there's a real collaborative process and obviously with all the projects and bands that you guys have been in, you've collaborated before, but does it feel different with this band? Do you approach it differently with Broken Bells? I, know, I think it's easier than, you know, I think Brian and I work together well, so that makes it easier than some, I've experienced some yeah, difficulties in that, but... This is the easiest thing I've done, easiest project I've worked on, yeah. 
Do you fall into certain roles, or do you both sort of do a yeah, little, little bit of I everything? Yeah, Brian is a producer. I mean, it's, and that is almost like a personality type, <laughs> like you've noticed, you know. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I, there is a, a bit of that, and there's also the, like I'm, I'm proficient sort of on on my guitar, you know, um, and Brian is much better at keyboards and stuff. <laughs> You know, so. I read an interview where you said how great Brian was at writing hooks, and you're not, yeah. you're not so bad at it yourself. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I think I learned a lot from Brian. I learned to kind of see the value in, in that and understand, sort of have that vocabulary in my head, you know, that that's what that is. That's the hook. You know, it has a I reason. Mean, we, yeah, he's done them. I used to do them and not know what they what, it, what yeah. I was even doing. I was like, oh, I guess that's probably the songs that people like have more of that in it, and you yeah. don't realize it until you've done a few, album, few albums and... You think, well, maybe you could just do a little bit more of it. You or can work at it to try yeah, to figure those exactly. little things out. Yeah. Well, the two of you together are unbeatable in the hook department then. I was delighted to hear The High Road today because I've been spending so much time with the new album. I forget how happy. The first album made me instantaneously really have a form. Well, I don't want to say it's a formula, but <laughs> you know how to catch the listener's attention. Were you? I feel like when you guys started out a few years ago with the first album, there was just instantaneous love for the band. Were you sort of taken aback by how people had taken to it so quickly? Yeah, I think I was surprised that you know that it it was we really had an audience already. You know, it was it was kind of cool. You know, it's like you worry that that maybe nobody cares. You know. <laughs> You always worry that, I think. And it, yeah, it's nice. Well, you have a lot ahead of you. I know that you two are super busy with other projects, and I hear even possibly thinking of a third Broken Bells record already. Of course. That's great to hear. Because <laughs> I know as busy as you are, you really have to make time for this band, and it doesn't seem like it's just something on the side. I mean, this is a project in and of itself. Yes, indeed. Yeah, it is. Got to put the effort into it, and it's yeah. certainly paid off. Well, thank you for stopping by today. I know you've got to get on the road. You've got shows pretty much through the end of the year. Yeah, we do. Sort of. <laughs> We're yeah, cut out some breaks, still. but yeah we, yeah, we have some touring to do. It sounds like it'll be fun hanging out together. Thank you again so much. Thanks. Thank you. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.